All right, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. Uh, this video is about our first drive with the Comma 2 with Open Pilot Software, which is a level two driving automation system. impressions on our first drive we just came back from it it was impressive but not as much as I expected um, so I've been following comma AI um, kind of from a distance for a few years now have been very interested in having this device uh, the comma 2 and finally got a vehicle that was compatible and gave it a try so the vehicle we have is the 2021 Hyundai Palisade which does come with actually fairly impressive um, lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control capabilities without the comma 2. Um, so the vehicle stock from the factory does have some pretty impressive capabilities which to my understanding the comma 2 does not take over the longitudinal control of the stock system on this Hyundai Palisade. So that is referring to the adaptive cruise control. Um, so it is still relying on that which is a radar based system. Um, we're currently testing version 0 0.8.4, I believe. Um, so yeah, overall impressive, not as much as I quite expected. So the things I was impressed by was the lane keeping ability. Um, I found that to be quite good, definitely better than the stock system I could tell just off of our first drive. Um, impressed also by the lane change assist. So the way you can just nudge the wheel um, obviously make sure the lane is clear before you do that but once you do that nudge uh, the comma is very good about just gradually making that lane change it feels very natural um, so I like that uh, also impressed by driver monitoring which I know George Hotz the founder of comma AI uh, is very big on I found that system to be pretty reliable at one point I was lean kind of out to the side and it didn't seem to be picking me up that could just be because the Palisade is a bigger vehicle. It may struggle to pick me up if I'm kind of leaning towards the window. Um, so just something to note there. It didn't seem like a really big deal though. Impressed, it seems kind of like a small feature, but the audible alerts, um, they actually are quite useful, um, but not annoying um, to let you know when things are going well or not well, um, when the system's engaging, disengaging. Um, so I found those audible alerts to be quite useful. So I was impressed by those. As far as complaints um, slash kind of wish list items, my number one complaint by far uh, fully had expected was going to be a capability of open pilot was slow down for curves. It does not slow down for curves within. Okay, so there's a couple things to know. It, so it doesn't slow down for curves, but set, first of all, as I said, the adaptive cruise control system is being used from the stock Hyundai Palisade um, factory setup. Um, so open pilot is not um, responsible for the longitudinal control in this vehicle. However, it still stands that yes, with the comma two, you're not getting slow down for curves. Obviously the stock system isn't doing it. After some further research, I did discover Hyundai's um, what they call highway drive assist hda does actually include auto slowdown for curves on the highway um, so we'll be testing that out again this is just part of the stock system so that's separate from what comma the comma 2 with open pilot is capable of but anyway that is my main complaint slow down for curves big deal in my opinion very fundamental to driving um, and comma needs to figure that out um, number two sort of complaint slash wish list item is navigate on open pilot. Um, so this would just be a really nice feature if you could type in a destination and then have the comma just effectively drive you there or assist in the driving to get there. That's, you know, currently not there. I believe from poking around on the forum, it sounds like it is in the works. Um, so that would be super cool. Number three complaint slash wish list is the lack of stoplights and stop signs. For some reason, I thought from watching other videos of the comma and open pilot performing, I thought stoplights were supported, uh, but apparently they're not. And it's possible there's some forks, uh, which refers to the custom 
uh, sort of custom distributions, custom software versions of OpenPilot. Um, it's possible some of the forks do support it, and maybe that's what I've seen in some other videos. But the uh, the default OpenPilot system does not support stoplights or stop signs currently. I'm guessing this is something that also will come with the longitudinal control revamp, which is expected in version 0.9, where they're going to do end-to-end -end, um, learning of longitudinal controls. So number four complaint, not a, as big of a deal, but is the lack of auto passing slash auto lane changing. Um, so it would be nice if all you had to do is put a blinker on and that um, at least in vehicles like the Hyundai Palisade, which does have uh, you know blind spot detection and these sorts of safety features that it could rely on those to make sure that it is safe to perform that lane change and you know perform the pass maneuver at that point if you're trying to get around another vehicle. Um, so those are kind of my four big complaint slash wish list again slow down for curves is by far the biggest one i really feel like that should be there it needs to be there to truly differentiate themselves in a big way from the stock systems on some of these newer vehicles um, which are actually fairly impressive on their own additionally um, after experiencing some of these complaints i decided to go onto the discord forum um, for comma ai and it's quite useful. There's a cool community of people there. I started asking my questions about slowdown for curves to find some answers, figure, try to figure out why it's not there. So it was nice to have some good dialogue with people there. Really useful. That's actually how I discovered the Hyundai Palisade has this um, highway drive assist, which does incorporate slowdown for curves on the highway. It was a gentleman through the forum um, that brought that to my attention. So that was super useful and cool which would have been hard for me to figure out myself just by digging through the manual, which is like 500 some pages. So I highly recommend if you're interested in a comma, even if you haven't purchased a comma two yet, I highly suggest checking out the forum, FAQ, ask some questions, um, find out maybe a little bit more about the system before you decide to take the plunge if you're uncertain about it. Overall, impressed with OpenPilot on the comma two. Only did a first drive, um, a lot more to do. Okay, so here we are in the first drive with the Comma 2 running Open Pilot. Uh, I have to apologize, uh, the video is a bit on the bright side in terms of the outdoor setting, um, so we're still kind of new to this and trying to figure out the right settings to give you the best view. So here we're just driving through some city roads. Um, there are a few curves along the way, um, but nothing overly complex. You can see a median there and then a vehicle in front of us that we're following. So this was a particularly challenging section there. Um, we were fairly impressed that OpenPilot was able to get through that. Uh, similar to a human driver. And we're just continuing along. I think it was around 40 miles per hour in this section. And I believe coming up is another uh, spot that was a little tricky um, with the vehicle pulling off to the side as well. Yeah, so you can see the the left turn lane there, it handled that situation quite well. And that vehicle pulled off to the side of the road and open pilot handled that well. So what was not shown there prior to the cut um, was the first stoplight we had come up to um, and that's when we fully realized that um, open pilot does not consider stoplights. We obviously safely came to a stop ourselves upon realizing the system was not going to slow down. Um, so then we just continued on here through some more country type roads. Um, still, I believe uh, the speed limit's around 
45 miles per hour in this section, um, but there's some windiness to the road as you can see here. Um, and Open Pilot handled that. Um, and we are using the lane version of 0.8.4. It is not the laneless. Um, you can tell by looking at the comma two. And the predicted path is white, whereas it will be red if you have the laneless model turned on, which is currently in alpha. Alpha just refers to a kind of a pre-release software version. So here we're coming up on a rather tight turn um, that a human driver would slow down for. Um, this is when I started to realize that Open Pilot does not slow down for curves. So you can see I uh, kind of took over control there, or at least assisted it getting around these curves. So here we're coming up on another tight curve, which I'm still curious if OpenPilot will consider any curves. Um, so you can see I take over some control here. Um, so being an engineer myself of mechanical and software background, um, it just was quite surprising to me at this stage. Um, that open pilot was not handling curves seems like a very deterministic type thing um, to be able to compute a good speed and acceleration through a curve that would be comfortable to the human body but it is just not there yet and that concludes our first drive with open pilot so tell me in the comments what you guys would like to see um, if there's any scenarios you'd like us to test in, you know, rain, certain types of roads, mountain roads, uh, city, highway, um, you know, what are the things you guys would be interested in seeing so that we can make some videos for that. And of course, if you found this useful and you liked it, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.